Good morning guys, we're heading back over to Shore 24 and we're going to be having some more fun and games with the kids at the school today. So we're doing another sports day today and Raya is going to teach all the kids volleyball. Are you excited to teach them volleyball? Yeah, it'll be fun. We just need oh. to put the net up. Nice. Oh. Oh, that can be an extra point. They can, they can get it through the hole. Andy's realised he's better at volleyball with his head. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> cracking as soon as possible. All right, ready? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna put eight people here. One with each of these guys. And when I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you're gonna go into that group. Everyone's a winner. Yes. <laughs> Got a tug of war going on over here. loves sports day. I used to love sports day when I was at school. I think mainly because we had a whole day off lessons but still it's a lot of fun. What are you playing over here Barney? No idea, too much dust. <laughs> Stink British Bulldog. Classic British Bulldog. <laughs> Time for lunch. More veggie samosas. <laughs> I should probably clean my hands actually, they're covered in dust. Oh, it's insanely dusty, you guys. Look at my shoes. I like your pictures. Monkey! Oh hey! Hello! <laughs> Hello! Yeah, this is the last day we're actually at the school hanging out with the kids and it's been, uh, it's been pretty awesome. I think the main thing for me is just seeing the team that have come out from London and a lot of those guys that Regenerate have been working with in London haven't come from the best home situations or the best pasts and uh, it's opportunities like this coming out here and being able to contribute and be part of a project. Um, I think that's been quite life-changing for a lot of them. And I know when I first came out to Africa, um, I don't know when that, that was actually, yeah, maybe 2007. Uh, that was like life-changing enough for me and I just think for some of these guys that are still teenagers and, um, and quite, it's quite easy to get um, wrapped up in your own life and your own situation, especially if, Back in London, um, it's a bit of a struggle, and then coming out here and seeing real struggle and seeing how happy the kids are and how much they're making of their lives, even if um, even if they're from complete poverty and and had kind of difficult um, starts to their lives. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's a bit of a gives you a different look on outlook on life, and it helps you see things in perspective a little bit more. So. 
I'm a big fan of these kind of trips and it's great that, that such a big team came out and uh, yeah, I think this will be the start of some big things for some of the young people. One of the girls this morning was saying that she's totally changed her kind of life goals and what she wants to do with her future and she wants to spend a lot more time out here and doing projects like this, which is pretty cool. Right, introduce your friends. Do you get, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? What are your like names? What are your right? names? <laughs> she wants to be a newscaster, so this is a little bit of practice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Kate. <laughs> I'm 16 years old. Actually, love talking. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a news broadcaster. And I love you guys. And I love your trip vlogs. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Okay, you guys remember Teddy? He's, he's just going to tell us what he's been up to and show us around and stuff. Hello, I'm Teddy. You are watching Fun for Louis. Today I've been playing um, rugby, volleyball, and basketball. It's your best. It's your desk? Yeah. Oh, what do you have on your desk? Yes, Teddy. These are my uniforms. My tie. What time do you start school in the morning? That. Wow. That is that is dedication. I don't know if I could start school at 6 30. <laughs> Everybody that you're watching, this is our school. I'd like to tell you that I love you and um, and the next time you you will find new changes in these in these classes short and four it is a home that caters for people like me who does not have parents or any guardians but in this home we are we are taught how to to love each one another and to love god and have friendship this is a place where we, we learn and we are given food, we are given food and it makes us know that we have a future and it gives us hope that one day we'll become someone or somebody in this world. Thank you. Back at the children's home, and Teddy's going to show us around. Is this where you stay? Yeah. Cool. And all your friends live in here? Yeah. That's awesome. Do you love it? Yeah. <laughs> See, I never stayed with this many friends. Was I missing out? Yeah. That was so cool about boarding school. You literally just live with all your best friends. Like, did you have Did matter. you have bedrooms like this, though, with loads of people? Um, not this many people, but we had like a house of 40 girls and we were just like hanging out in the common room all the time, so. We're heading off, saying goodbye to all the kids. You are? That's me, Louis. Louis. Yeah. yeah, Louis. We will miss you too. We will miss you. Oh, yeah. I'll miss you guys. Okay. See you later, Teddy. See you. So we've just finished eating our dinner downstairs and then we started playing this game which um, I'll tell you about tomorrow but it's a pretty fun game but we got very sidetracked and I've not quite finished my edit. But it has been nice socialising this evening because most evenings we've got back so tired that we've like basically gone straight to our room and just edited and gone to bed. So it has been nice. Um, but it is gone midnight and we are getting up at 6am to go on a safari drive. So I should probably go to sleep soon. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing some of the animals here and comparing the drive to the ones we did a couple of weeks ago in South Africa. But it's been a, a great day. It's been awesome hanging out with the kids. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of our time here in Kenya. See you in the morning. Peace out. Enjoy life. And live the adventure. Boom. <laughs>